Hi, my name is James Downey, and uh, as many of you know, about uh, 10 months ago I broke my leg. And, um, you know, I've learned a lot from that experience, and um, I remember uh, lying in bed for weeks, not being able to do very much, feeling um, quite sorry for myself, uh, having this big incision almost from my knee up to my hip, and lots of discomfort and pain, and um, lying in bed, not being able to do things, and even after, you know, there were many thoughts of, of, you know, time to recover and building muscle and I can't do this and I can't do that. And, uh, you know, feeling a little sorry for myself and no question using, uh, <laughs> using that uh, as a bit of an excuse. And, um, you know, as time went on, um, yeah, I think I, uh, I think I didn't get over that as quickly as I thought I would. But I'll tell you what snapped me out of it really fast. A dear friend of mine, um, Joe, was in a motorcycle accident. And uh, he, he didn't just break a leg or, or do a minor injury. Um, he actually ended up losing his leg. And I, I, I tell you, all of a sudden, having pins in my leg and having a scar on my leg and having itching and discomfort and pain um, didn't seem like a big deal. So I, I'm, I'm not saying, you know, go out and find somebody who had... Um, you know, has a worse situation than you do, so you feel better. But I'll tell you, watching Joe um, come back after this accident and his attitude and his upbeat expression and his Facebook posts and the joy that he was still experiencing, even though he was going through this, and his sense of adventure about it and the way he was inspiring people. And I just get that there are always people that we can look up to and people that we admire and they're going through things too. They're going through tough times. They're going through difficult things, oftentimes way worse than what's going on in our life. And I'm not trying to minimize anything that anybody's going through. I mean, when we're going through it, it's, it's tough and it feels big and it feels crazy. And then, you know, we can go and look for people that inspire us and motivate us to get uh, off our ass and get out back into the real world and, and do what we can do no matter what is going on in our head, no matter what we think our limitations are, you know, no matter what the circumstances are, there's always something that we can do that's amazing. So, you know, I just, uh, now I want to go out and just uh, every day impress myself. That's my goal, just to impress myself and do something each day that isn't about, you know, being sorry for myself. It's about actually doing something uh, exciting and inspiring. And, uh, you know, thank you, Joe, for for uh, being an inspiration and uh, you know go find your own Joe go find somebody that inspires you and uh, allow them to uh, you know kick you in the ass a little bit and uh, get out there and do what you're made to do everybody in this world has a unique voice and your voice needs to be heard as does mine so thank you for listening and uh, be up to something <laughs>